Welcome back. Jeff here again from Bygone with this absolutely stunning and ultra rare 72 Chevy Custom Deluxe pickup truck with the Highlander Level 3 package. Complete survivor with just 59,000 original miles. Let's go through the interior together, folks. Let's start with this absolutely stunning, and I did say stunning, orange plaid and parchment Highlander seat in this truck. Um, yes, as the spit in the glove box shows this, truck was ordered with a light olive exterior and an orange seat. Hey, people had great taste back then. Um, this is an original seat. Uh, it has not been recovered. It was uh, covered with a burlap style cover when I got the truck. But you can see that the uh, correct center area embossment is there. The seat cover shows just a bit of wear in a few areas. The most notable spot would be over here on the driver's side edge. Uh, but again, in absolutely incredible shape, They're not hiding anything. The seat belts are nice and bright on the truck. Again, from the high desert region of Colorado, so that area of the country doesn't get ridiculously hot. So factory dash pad is in excellent shape. The dash on this truck is stunning. Notice that uh, with the Highlander package, uh, you do get tilt wheel. Truck has incredible options for 72. A lot of folks don't realize that you couldn't even get power windows and power locks in these trucks. That, that just wasn't an option. I feel like the only thing that's really missing would be an FM, uh, FM radio and maybe a tack. But it is a factory air truck, as we saw in the other videos, the uh, compressor does turn on. But it could use a, a squirt of R12. We'll go around over to the passenger side in a second. This is a hard to find, in fact, uh, original mat. That, that came came with the truck. You can see though that it's not it's not hiding anything. The carpet underneath is just as incredible. Uh, the pile is is it's fantastic. Look the the care that has been given to this truck the last fifty years shows time and time again. With the driver's side door panel, the armrests on both sides do show some wear. This is super common. Uh, these parchment armrests for 72 are difficult to find. So, you know, I, I would say just leave them. Um, that, that's, I, I, don't, I don't know what else to, to tell you. It's pretty cool too. We have a couple of service decals in the door jams. This one down below uh, is from 1986. Shows the truck having about 40,000 original miles. There we go. A lot of mileage documentation with this truck too. You can see this uh, 1981 registration uh, inspection sticker showing the mileage there at 31,000. And change so again the paper trail just documents all of that other thing I really dig with survivor vehicles in general is how nice the doors close <laughs> and then I get caught yep you're not gonna edit this video gang but you know it doesn't it isn't like you have to slam it or anything like that you just give her a little push and they close right up let's work our way over to the passenger side purpose here is just to make a sight unseen purchase as comfortable as possible I, I don't want anyone to feel like I'm hiding anything the truck is what it is and we'll pull that that mat back and again you can see how beautiful 
all the jute or all the uh, uh, the pile is on the carpet. Sorry, I was thinking about the jute padding underneath. And again, door panel with a similar type of wear on the armrest pad. That's some kind of flaw here. I don't know if you know what they were trying to pound back there. And then when you open the glove box, we've got the original manual. And then that gorgeous, gorgeous spid full, just chock full of options. Look at that gang. Look at all this. Visors are gorgeous. Just don't want to leave any anything unturned. And of course, this is a custom deluxe trim. Um, it is not a Cheyenne trim, so you've got just the the standard standard metal roof, factory slider window. Even underneath, you know, you just see how untouched all the duct work is. All the paper or all the uh, all the wiring. Is nicely nicely tucked underneath. There's been a couple of add-ons for trailering and, and things of that sort. Uh you know, because it was used as a as a fishing camper. But again, appropriate wear on the brake and gas pedal. Again, puts no doubt in anyone's mind about the survivor status of this truck. Ladies and gentlemen, again, my name is Jeff. If you do have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm happy to answer anything that I can. And while we do that, I'm just gonna point out that there is one small split in the steering wheel. I meant to, to uh, share that earlier, and lo and behold, I find uh, split number two here. So my apologies, but again, gorgeous overall. Not quite finished with you yet. I keep forgetting a couple couple little things I wanted to show you too. Chuck's been a non-smoker over the years, which is pretty pretty darn pretty darn cool. Ashtray is nice and clean. Okay, so now I feel better. <laughs> I'm Jeff. Feel free to give a call or shoot a message with any questions you may have. Thanks again.